Coming up in this video, I am going to show you an alternative way to remove viruses from a computer that you suspect has a virus on it. Right here on ES Repair. And welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I've been getting a lot of uh, calls and emails asking about viruses and stuff. And they have antivirus on the program or on their computer. And how do these uh, viruses still get on your computer? Well, let me explain. You can pay top dollar for any antivirus program out there on the market but it's not going to protect you to the new virus think of it as the common cold now we all know there is no common cure for the common cold well viruses and computers are basically the same thing because they're changing on an hourly basis it's, it's difficult for any antivirus pr uh, program or manufacturer developer whatever you want to call them to develop the latest protection from that virus. But antivirus programs do have ways to uh, look for activity that represents a virus. But sometimes viruses do masquerade as a legitimate program and this is what happens to a lot of these computers that get virus infections. Well, I'm going to show you what you can do to um, help remove a virus from a computer that you think may have it on there without booting it up. Now what I'm going to show you, all you have to do is if you have your computer then all you need to do is remove the hard drive like this one here. This one was removed from a laptop that I'm looking at and we are going to check and I'm going to show you an alternative way uh, one of the best ways you can do this is you, either you can use an external enclosure or for quick scans like we're going to do here, you only need a cable type adapter like this one. Now you've probably seen this before. I've done this video with this adapter before to show you how you can connect the two and be able to work with the hard drive from a dead PC. Now what I've done is I removed a hard drive from a laptop which I'll show you right here as I did at the beginning of the video uh, you have this one here as you can see I do have it all plugged up ready to go now I'm using a USB adapter like I've shown before in my popular video uh, transferring files from a dead PC um, I'm going to show you how you can use this at same adapter to scan the computer now you just remove the hard drive from the suspected computer and then connect it using a USB adapter like the one I have here. Uh, you can go to my website at www.4-mrfixit.com and go to my online store and then go to uh, hardware and then look under hard drives. You'll find all the adapters that you can use. Uh, there's, they vary from different ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug my adapter in. Now you'll hear it beep 
meaning that it's got your adapter plugged in, it's got it set up, ready to go. Now you'll notice the windows that will pop up. You want to take notice as to what these drive letters are. So not to confuse them with your internal hard drive. Now as you can see this one here is an I, that's a K, and that's a G. So you want to remember which ones are which. This one here is a J. This hard drive in particular has four partitions in it. So you want to keep an eye on those drive letters so you'll know which ones you want to do a scan on. Now the next thing you could do is get your antivirus program. Here I'm going to, mine has Norton's installed. Uh, any antivirus program will work as long as it lets you scan for um, external hard drives or USB devices. Now what I'm going to do here is click scan now. Now here I'm going to um, run a custom scan and then you can choose a uh, drive scan which will if you choose run you can choose what drives for it to do in this case let me scroll down now we have G then we have I J and then K remember those are the drive letters that were at the beginning when I plugged the drive in so these are the ones that we have checked and then choose scan now when the program begins it will show you the location that it's scanning uh, this one here is, uh, is Norton's yours will vary depending on uh, the antivirus program that you're using now this technique comes in real handy because some viruses can hide from antivirus programs. Now especially some viruses can disable the uh, computer's antivirus program and if that is the case on your computer this is a great technique remove the hard drive use a USB uh, adapter connected to another computer and run the virus scan on it like I'm doing here. Once the scan is complete, you'll bring it be brought up to a screen similar to this that will tell you uh, how many files it went through and how many problems it found and how many of them it's fixed. But this is a great way to find and remove viruses that you suspect is on a computer. Just uh, disconnect the drive, remove it if you can, uh, put it, connect it to an adapter, plug it to another computer that has antivirus on it, and plug it in and then scan it for the drive to see if there's any viruses on it. And if it finds any, it will remove them. Well, this concludes this video by ES Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Now, I've shown you how you can plug up temporarily using these adapter cables. I do sell these online at www.4-mrfixit.com and you can use dock stations or you can use these cable adapters. It's real convenient because all you need to do is plug the hard drive into the adapter or the dock station, plug it into your computer and then you can scan for viruses and remove viruses without booting up that computer. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.